project is a community meal that'll take place at the end of the summer where all the people that eat the meal are actually the producers of the food. To get involved in the Big Neighborhood Supper, you'll have to come to one of our participation meetings in which we'll decide the loose structure and outline of the meal. This meeting may include musicians who will determine the sound and the musical aspects of the environment for the meal. I'd also like to include chefs who will be able to brainstorm ideas about menu options based on what's seasonally available mid-August. And of course, we'll have artists who will determine the creativity, the installation, sculptural aspects of the meal and the environment. And we'll get farmers and home producers who grow their own vegetables, fruits, eggs, honey, and we'll all get together and celebrate in the bounty of what we've produced, including the animals. So the three things that are most interesting to me about this project are the idea of community and us sharing and producing something together that actually serves to feed us. Secondly, art as a tool of communication. And third, the importance of where we source our food from. local foods is an important topic because we've reached a point in this society where we've distanced ourselves so much from our food that we assume honey comes from a bottle on the shelf in the grocery store and a lot of people forget that there's actually bees behind honey, there's actually chickens behind eggs, there's actually goats behind goat cheese and we need to start remembering and making those connections once again between our food and where it comes from. The first step is, you know, buying food locally in your community, but even further than that step is actually producing food yourself or knowing the other, your neighbors, your friends, your community members that produce foods them, themselves. And that way we can take a little bit more control back into what we're putting into our bodies. I'm inviting people that have never grown food before, all the way to farmers that grow it for a living. We're sitting here in our greenhouse. It's very hot in here right now. In fact, hey Eric, what's the temperature in here right now? 95. It's 95 degrees in here right now. It makes such a big difference. If we can have food produced in the area that it's consumed or nearby, we save a tremendous amount of money in transportation and a tremendous amount of pollution in the environment. I remember reading something, a figure from back in the late 70s, and it's probably more than this now. 78% of our cost of food at the local level was basically to supply the transportation industry to get it there. Um, I think that local foods is going to be one of the most important um, issues of the near future. Um, and to be able to um, decentralize our, our food policies and support these local farmers um, even if it won't you know it doesn't feed as large of amount of people so it's just a, it's a special place in my heart for it feel better knowing where my food comes from and knowing that it's uh, usually done at smaller operations and local farmers um, doing it and I think it tastes better <laughs> it's higher quality ingredients. I think that chefs and cooks could also learn from an event like this because they will understand this is in season right now or these are my ingredient options and let that inspire the menu or the meal that they produce. And when this, what really hit home for me was I was doing a, I was doing a catering dinner and grabbing some stuff last, last minute to um, finish up some stuff the night before and I was at the grocery store and I'm filling up my cart with, you know, produce and stuff, and I'm realizing that everything that I'm putting in my cart is stuff that grows here. You know, we're in the middle of the, the most fertile soil in the country, and everything I was putting in my cart was something I could go plant in my backyard or a farmer could plant right here. I'm calling it an art project because art for me has always been a way to communicate my ideas. This work is similar to what a lot of the performance artists of the 1970s started doing when they incorporated 
food as part of their work. And I see it as a prototype for expanded versions that could take place in other countries and locations. The idea is to connect people to their food directly. I think what I really want to come out of this project is to establish a community of people that are sharing resources around the topic of local foods and celebrating that collective knowledge in the form of a big neighborhood supper. have to pass um, a nine mile per hour impact test in order to be suitable for shipping. Well, a car bumper only has to pass a seven mile per hour t impact test in order to be put on a car. So you know that they're breeding and designing food that's growing from the ground to be able to ship well and to look pretty rather than something that's really nutritious. So.